Welcome to my studio here in New York City. I'm Daniel Norton here with Cadence. And today I'm gonna to talk a little bit about balancing the windows. So of course you can see in the video that it's completely blown out, which is one way you might wanna do your windows. But I'm gonna show you how using flash we can get that look. <laughs> a look where it's balanced naturally and then a look where it's dark out, basically overpowering the light. And it's pretty simple, it just has to do with settings and I'll walk you through it. So I've got, obviously I'm on a tripod, I'm all set up here. I've got my light set, my camera I should say, set to 200th of a second, f5.6, 100 ISO. If I take a picture with no flash, we can see that it's basically lit normally outside. That's the outside exposure. And then she's dark, right? Which is why, of course, we have flash. So I've got two lights here. My main light, as it would be, is a Profoto collapsible beauty dish with a, with a diffusion sock on the front. That's kind of the window light, if you will, is coming from that direction. And then I have another Profoto light here, just in a strip box just to kind of contain it and it's bouncing off a white wall. This is gonna be my fill. So we'll start with just the window and then we'll add the fill if we feel like we need it. All right, so again, this is balanced for the outside. And you can see that's quite dramatic. It's pretty cool and it looks fairly natural. The only thing is it's a little bit harsh so we'd have to direct her, maybe turn this way more. There we go. And let's see if we can get a shot with this. There we go, that looks pretty good. Right, and we can always add our second light if we want to fill, so I'll show you what that looks like. It's for, for those people that really love ratios, these are set up on roughly a one-to-one -one ratio so that it's almost a perfectly flat light. And we can see that it's nice and balanced and filled in, and there you go, right? The windows look normal. They look like they look to my eye, right? But let's say we want it to feel like it's nighttime. The simplest thing to do there is basically just to dial, well, you can do a couple different things. We can dial up our shutter speed and go into high speed sync, but because I'm at uh, five, five, six, I can easily just close down my aperture. And again, I can look through the camera and just basically dial down my aperture until it gets dark. So well, let's, go, let's go F11. So F11 is about two stops, right? So I can go over here, I'm in manual, so I'm just gonna take both my lights and turn them up two stops. This is my balance point, right? Okay, and we can see that basically now it's dark out, right? It's like it's like a couple hours later, <laughs> as it would be. Okay, so that's making it dark, but what about making it light? Well, much like what you see through the video camera, all I really have to do here is go back to my original settings because I kind of liked where it was at 5.6. And before I do anything else, just to kind of set myself up, I'll just jump back in since I don't remember what the exposures were. I'm just gonna throw a TTL exposure on, get myself back where I need to be. Okay, so I'm basically back where I started, and now this, is, this one is pretty simple. The easiest way to do this is going to be to just mess with my shutter speed. Obviously, if you had a fast lens, you could keep opening up, but I don't want to sacrifice too much of my depth of field. So let me go down to like a slower shutter speed. Again, she's sitting down. This is not really an issue. If she was jumping up and down, I'd have to worry about her moving, right? But in this case, we're not really too concerned about that. And that's probably, that's actually over, <laughs> that is overkill. Oh, and what we got there was too is, there's light in the room, right? So I gotta turn off these overhead lights because they're definitely affecting our shot. Let's come in here. Let's go back up to, let's go to a 30th of a second. Yeah, that's pretty nice. And we're getting bright. In fact, what you might wanna do here is turn the flash off altogether to get a baseline like we did before. Okay, that's a little bit bright still outside. Let me go down to a 15th. because that looks pretty good, and then we'll just add the flash in. Yep, and we're getting this bright, bright, high key tight. That's good, that's good focus. And here we're getting a really bright high key shot. Now, of course, that's what you're going for, right? Again, if, and you want it to feel like it's really bright light coming through. So we want our exposure to be hot here. If you make the exposure inside dull, it won't feel like the light's coming through the window. Because to my eye, when there's a lot of light bouncing around here, I can see it, right? To the camera, it doesn't really think like that. So you've got to kind of interpret what the camera sees and make that work for you. Well, there you go, nice and simple. We use either aperture or shutter speed to control our ambient light through the window, and then we set our flash to give us the feel and exposure that we want for that time of day as it would be. I'll put all the equipment I use down in the description as well as a link to Cadence. There's also a link down there to my Discord and my Patreon. I'll talk to you soon.